Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn a simple simulation in SOLIDWORKS. Things that we are going to cover, we are going to cover what are the different kind of fixtures, load and how to apply that load on a particular area. Let's see one by one. First thing that I will going to do is create my geometry. So I will select the front pane, click on sketch. Now I will draw a simple uh, T shape. So I will select central rectangle. Now give it a dimension as per your requirements. In my case, 300 by 100 mm. Now I will draw a rectangle here. Seven hundred seven hundred by three fifty. Give it a thickness of hundred mm, and this distance is one fifty. Click OK. Go to the features. Click on extrude wall space. Select these and extrude as per your requirement. I am extruding up to 4000 mm that is near about 4 meter. Click OK. Now to do the simulation click on SOLIDWORKS add-in. Click on SOLIDWORKS simulation. Give it some time as the tab will appear. Just in case if this tab is not visible what you can do is simply go to the features, right click, click on tab and add the tab as per your requirement. If it is still not visible here, go here, click on add-ins and click on Solvox simulation. And if it is not here, then it means that you have not installed Solvox simulation while installing Solvox. Okay, so you need to reinstall it. So close this. Now, what I have to do is go to the simulation tab, click on new. What kind of simulation that I am trying to do? In my case, I am trying to do static simulation click ok now it is asking what is the material because without material you know I can't get anything correct so click on apply material what will happen you can see the different kind of material so let's say I choose a alloy steel click apply click close so this material is applied and you can even see its tick mark next thing is fixtures a question comes to your mind what is fixture and why I need to apply suppose I put a load let's say 10 Newton okay what will happen without fixtures it will just move downwards and I will not get any stress or anything so fixtures you know make it fix so click on fixture click on fix geometry now you can see we are doing something like this this is the phase that is fixed here in my case I will select this phase so it means this phase will not move when the load is applied click ok now I will add a simple load so if I click on here click on force uh, notice that load is applied on the whole face but I don't want to apply the load on the whole face I just want to apply the load on a particular area so what can I do so I will go to the sketch select this face click on sketch now draw the shape where you want to apply the load so let's say I simply you know roughly it is not you don't need to make it correct so just draw a simple rectangle now exit this now the problem is I am not able to select this rectangle alone so what can I do I will go to the features click on curve click on here click on project curve uh, sketch on faces select the sketch and this face click ok so click on curves and click on split line click on projection now it is asking for a sketch select this sketch it is asking for a face select this face click ok now notice that I can select this face and this is basically what I want now 
what I can do, I will go to my simulation. Sorry, as you can see that the simulation is not showing here. You have to move downward and you will find static. So click on that one. Notice that our all simulation is here. Now, what you have to do is, I am going to apply some load. So click on here, click on force. So it is asking for a phase. I already selected this phase. Now it is asking how much load you want to apply. In my case, I am applying a simple 500 Newton load. If you want to reverse the direction, simply click on reverse. Okay, but in my case, it is downward force. Now, what I need to do is click OK. After that, it is something called meshing. So, here is the thing higher the meshing, better will be the result. Lower the mesh, lower the will be the result of it. There are plenty of other videos or you know, free courses of Solvox simulation. You can check out my link in description if you want to learn it. So, in my case, I will not deal with the mesh because it's a beginner friendly tutorial. But if you want to learn in deep details, I highly recommend check out my free Solvox simulation course. Link in description. Now, click on run this study. Notice the simulation is done. Now, what I can observe how much stress is generated. And you can see the graph looks pretty cool. Similarly, if you want to see the displacement, you can see which part is moved uh, most. So you can see the end part is moved the mo most and here you can see the displacement value. Notice that it is 4.35 minus exponential minus 0 to it is quite small. So right click, click on show. Uh, a one thing and that I find um, beginner mostly do, suppose I put a 1 Newton load it will still show me this kind of deflection. In reality, Solvox what do? It do that show the deflection 500 or 1000 times more than the actual one. So that you able to visualize where is the actual stress or displacement is occurring. For example, if I go and show displacement, you can imagine you can't able to see 4.35 minus 0 to 10 is power minus 0 to even you know even someone show you right in front of you you will not able to see that small deflection in real life so the bending is just so that you can visualize it what you can do also right click click on chart options click on definition click on true scale uh, notice it is 9297 so the current deflection is 9000 times the actual one so if I click on Pro Scale, click on OK, notice it is now a straight. So this is the purpose of uh, automatic so that you can visualize it. And if you want to animate, right click animate. So you can see how much stress is generated. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you have any kind of doubts and queries, Feel free to us and thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.